So in this video, we will learn how to connect Trello to Dropbox and save your media to Dropbox. So imagine this, you have created a card in Trello. So you have also added a description and even uploaded an image to this card, a perfect Trello card. So now you plan to upload the images from the card into Dropbox just for backup. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you can download the image from Trello okay, and manually upload it to the Dropbox. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new card is added in Trello, it will automatically save the media in Dropbox. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Trello and Dropbox. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we are going to begin with a small example. So this is my profile in Trello. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a new card. Okay, so the name of the card is let's say Iron Man. Okay, Iron Man. And let me just add this card. Okay, so we are going to enter some description and I'm going to add an attachment. The attachment will be my PNG or JPG file, basically your picture or an image. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add the description Iron Man rocks. A very small description okay and I'm going to add an attachment so this attachment will be my computer from my computer okay so this is uh, the file that I want to add okay I had mine okay so let me just add it okay so it is uh, trying to process okay so an image of uh, iron man has been added so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to uh, cancel this okay so the image as well as the card has been added in trello so let's have a look in uh, dropbox do we have this image or not okay so let me just go back okay yeah we do have the image so this is the image we wanted so basically our idea is very clear whenever a new card with an attachment is created in trello there will be the image in dropbox so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to begin the integration process so to begin the integration process let me just open a new tab and in the new tab let me just type pabli.com pabli.com it is okay so your obvious question is why pabli.com well we have an app called as pabli connect that will integrate trello and dropbox so here let me just click on sign in okay so as you can see i already have made an account in pabli connect you can also build your own free account in just two minutes so let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now Okay, so before we create a workflow, there is something I need to show you. So as you can see, I already have created a workflow of integration of integrating Trello as well as Dropbox. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shut this off. Okay, toggle this to the left to uh, shut off this workflow to basically switch off this workflow. Uh, if I don't uh, switch off this workflow, it will create a dual results. Two times it will create the same results. So it doesn't really concern you because we are going to start from scratch. So let me just click on this button, create workflow. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give a name to this workflow, Trello to Dropbox. Dropbox. Okay, so let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as a trigger window. So basically what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new workflow. Now, if you want access to this workflow, I will make sure that I will share the link of this workflow in the description box as well. Okay, so in the choose app, how about we make it as Trello? Trello it is. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new card? Okay, so new card is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new card is created in Trello, then what action should be taken by the system? Now, we do have a lot of trigger events like new board, card mode to list, new label, and so on. Now, in case, if you want more trigger events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepabri.com to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new card is added in Trello. So what I'm going to do here is so we are just going to integrate Trello to Pabli Connect. So let me just click on connect with Trello. Okay, so in the new credentials, we have three blanks to fill the username, the API key as well as the token. So to get the username, API key as well as the token, let's have a visit to Trello. No, we're not going to visit Trello. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on here. Okay, so we will get all these details straight away from here. So basically, this is your developer key. I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and I'm just going to paste it here easy okay so now we have to figure out our username as well as the token so to get these details let me just click on generate a token click this okay so this is my username and i have uh, copied this and i'm just going to paste it here 
this is the username now coming to the token so to generate a token let me just click on allow so it will generate the token so this is my token so i'm copying this and i'm just going to paste it here okay so we have entered the username the api key as well as the token so let me just click on save okay so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blank is very simple we are going to select a board as well as tell list in trello and we are going to integrate them to public connect so as you can see in the board we have a ton of boards so basically these are all the boards that is present in my trello account okay so as you can see these are all the boards that is present here is being simply reflected here so i'm selecting one particular board let's say gold okay so i have selected a board that is gold board so this is the gold board okay as you can see gold board okay Okay, now coming to the list. So as you can see, we have two lists that is awesome list and red list. So these are the two lists we have. Okay, awesome list as well as the red list. So what I'm going to do here is uh, for your consideration, I'm going to uh, add one more list. So let's say blue list. Okay, so this is the name of the list, just a random name, blue list. So when I go to public connect and when I refresh this, I can expect to find the blue list in the drop down. This is because public connect is integrated with Trello. So basically the idea is that uh, we have uh, we have to access the data from this particular board and this particular list. So whenever a new card is created in this particular board and this particular list, the data will be sent to public connect. So what I'm going to do here is and usually, usually there is something you should know. Usually we basically copy this webhook URL and paste it into our triggering app in our case our triggering app is Trello so basically we have to copy this URL and paste it into triggering app but here all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to uh, integrate public connect with this board and this list so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the API response is showing the message uh, the API response is showing that we have integrated Trello to public connect so basically this means that anytime a new card is created in this board and this list public connect will capture the data so as to ensure that public connect captures this data let me just click on this button capture webhook response so it is showing it is waiting for the data so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, Trello and I'm going to add a card in this particular list that is the blue list so the name of the card is uh, Deadpool okay it's one of my favorite action heroes so let me just click on add card now now there is something you should know as you can see i have straight away added a new card but without any description or as well as the attachment okay so a card has been created so let's have a look in public connect has it captured the data of this card okay so as you can see some data has been captured so we do have the card name okay and we do have the list in it it is created and this is the board where it was created the board in which it is created okay so basically we have got this data now uh, we of course want the data of the image or the attachment that is going to be inserted in this card so basically the idea is that once this attachment is inserted into this card the attachment or the image image will be reflected in the dropbox so basically we have to uh, create a condition that whenever a new card is created and has an att attachment it will be sending the details of the attachment to dropbox otherwise if it is without any attachment it not it should not be really sending anything to dropbox okay so basically it should filter out those cases in which there is no attachment in a Trello card. Okay, so the data will be sent only when there are attachment in a card in Trello. So basically we have to apply filter. Okay, so let me just apply filter. So let me just create one more action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it filter, filter it is. Okay, so filter is basically if statement. Now we are going to apply a condition. The condition is something like this. We are just going to apply the condition. So when the card is created along with the, so this is the action type that is create a card okay equal to and i'm just going to paste these words add attachment to card okay so basically it will ensure that once the card is created and along with it has an attachment to the card then only the data should be sent so at present we don't have any attachment to the card okay so this is because we didn't have we didn't insert any images to the newly created card so let me just show you so as you can see this is the newly created card called as deadpool so at present we haven't inserted any image or any attachment to this particular card so when i click on save and send test request it will give the status as error okay so let me do that okay so it is showing the uh, status as error and the message is condition is false because we haven't inserted any attachment to the card so basically what we are going to do here is i'm just going to uh, Trello okay and uh, I'm just going to insert some details as well as the description so this is the description Deadpool is awesome 
okay so the attachment i'm going to add is one more uh, image so let me just go to my computer and just i'm going to add an mp3 file nope i'm going with uh, the image of a deadpool that i have downloaded so with image so let me just check the image yeah so this is the image of the deadpool that i want to insert into my card so basically okay so now it has been uploaded excellent okay so let me just uh, remove this okay so what i'm going to do here is we want to fetch the details of this particular attachment as well as the description inserted in this card that is deadpool so to do that what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to introduce one more action window so in this action window we are again going to uh, trello okay trello it is okay trello and here in the action event we basically have to get the card details okay so card has been already created so basically we have to get the card details so let's select card details okay so let me just click on connect with trello now we have already integrated it so i'm just going to the recent setting okay this one and let me just click on save okay so basically we have to input the card id so to get the card id so let me just show you the card id so this is our card id so let me just uh, show you where is our card id so basically this is your card id action data card id okay so basically we have to map this particular detail here okay so we have to map that bunch of characters and string here so to do that let me introduce you to the mapping button so when we click this we will find all the details that we have found from trello so where is our card id so this is our card id okay so we have mapped it so when we click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created description as well as the attachment so let me just do that okay so as you can see this is the description the deadpool is awesome okay so there must be one more thing that is the card url basically the attachment url so let me just uh, scroll down and let's uh, go to the image so where is our image okay so basically that is that that should be in jpg format okay so uh, let me just show you that image so this is basically the image okay so this is a png image i actually want the jpg image so no particular reason okay so let's uh, use this one okay so this is the one we want so i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to open this in a new tab and let me just show you is this the same image yes this is the same image so basically we are going to map this particular detail into our dropbox window okay so what we are going to do here is i'm just going to upload this file in dropbox so let me just uh, choose an app called as a dropbox dropbox it is now in the action event upload a file okay then let me just click on connect with dropbox in the new credentials let me just click on connect with dropbox okay so it's trying to authorize excellent so authorization is successful just press ok so basically now we have to enter the file url so to get the file url again we are just going to click on the mapping button so this time we are just going to click on this uh, particular detail okay this particular accordion we are just going to click this and let me just uh, scroll down and find the url which is at the top which is at the last so this is the one we want and we have mapped it okay now coming to the file name we basically have to input the file name so file name can be something like deadpool.png or deadpool.jpg so uh, so this is something that we can get from here okay so this is the name okay this is the name of the card dot png okay so always remember you have to put in the extension okay so we have entered the extension now coming to the folder path so here for your consideration i'm going to add one more folder so this will be for trello only okay so trello it is trello and uh, let me just uh, click on uh, okay so let me just uh, click on create okay so as you can see a folder called as trello has been created so what i'm going to do here is i'm just uh, going to add a slash okay and just type trello so basically this is our folder and this is our folder path excellent so when i click on save and send test request it will uh, send uh, this particular image to this particular folder in dropbox so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent so let's have a look so this is the folder so i'm just going to explore this okay yeah we do have the image that is deadpool.png excellent so this is the image we want okay so basically the presence of this image shows that we have successfully integrated uh, trello and dropbox with help of public connect 
Now before you go, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So here I'm going to minimize this action window. Okay. And I'm going to minimize this action window. Okay. Minimize the filter window and I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrate a Trello to public connect and then you have created a new card. Then you have applied a filter. The condition in the filter is that whenever there is an attachment in the card, then only the data should be sent. Then of course you have again integrated Trello to public connect to get the card details. And of course then comes the last part that is Dropbox integration and you have uploaded the file in Dropbox. Excellent. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.